In the spotlight tonight is Paul Simpson, a writer from West Sussex. Karen Davis, a health club manager from Norwich. Jed Sweeney, a technical service manager from Worcestershire. And Liam O'Carroll, who's an actor from Kingston-upon-Thames. Welcome to this special edition of Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. And the reason I didn't do what I always do and tell you what special subjects have been chosen is because they're all the same. And no prizes for guessing what that is, Doctor Who. Apart from that, the format's much the same. Two minutes on the Time Lord and two minutes on general knowledge. And the winner gets this glass bowl and the intergalactic honour of becoming the first Doctor Who Mastermind. And guess who'll be presenting the award at the end of the programme? Actually, there is something else that's different. No chair. Thank you. Now, let's find out which of our contenders knows more about the what's, where, when and, of course, the who. Let's have our first contender, please. And your name is? Paul Simpson. Your occupation? Writer. And your chosen subject? Doctor Who. Of course. Two minutes, starting now. What is Lethbridge Stewart's rank when he first appears in the Web of Fear? Colonel. Correct. Who designed K9 as his personal mobile database at the Bai Al Foundation? Professor Marius. Correct. What is the full name of the English spy in the Reign of Terror who masquerades as Lemaitre, the governor of the Conciergerie prison? James Sterling. Correct. Which company's UK headquarters was a major site for the location filming of Revelation of the Daleks? Guinness. IBM. Who wrote The Sunmakers as a skit on the Inland Revenue with a gatherer, a collector and a corridor P45? Robert Holmes. Correct. Which regular member of the Carry On cast appeared as Varga, one of the Ice Warriors in that story? Bernard Breslau. Yes. In The Stones of Blood, as what was the third segment of The Key to Time disguised? It was a pendant. The Great Seal of Diplos. Which Terence Dick stories was the first to be produced by Graham Williams? Horror of Fang Rock. Yes. Which member of the Daleks' Grand Alliance was played by Robert Cartlin in Mission to the Unknown and Brian Mosley in the Daleks' Master Plan? Malpha. Correct. Which planet returned to our solar system in 1986, having drifted to the edge of the universe and back again? Mondas. Yes. What was the title of the episode in the Daleks' Master Plan, which was the first to have been transmitted on Christmas Day? The Feast of Stephen. It was. Who coached Sylvester McCoy in the magic tricks used by the Doctor in The Greatest Show in the Galaxy? Jeffrey Durham. Yes. John Levine, who played Benton in many of the stories, made his first credited appearance in the series as which robotic enemy of the Doctor? The Yeti. Yes. In the 1996 television movie, what film is Pete the Morgue attendant watching when the Doctor regenerates? Frankenstein. It was. Where in Tranquil Repose does the Doctor find his own gravestone? Outside, in the Garden of, in the garden of Remembrance. The Garden of Fond Memories, yes. In The Green Death, which supercomputer tries to seize power by linking itself to every other major computer in the world? Boss. Yes. What appears on Tegan's arm after she's been possessed by the Mara in Snake Dance? A snake. A snake tattoo. A snake mark, yes. We'll accept a snake tattoo. Uh, no passes there, Paul Simpson. We've scored 15 points. And our next contender, please. And your name is? Karen Davis. Your occupation? Health club manager. And we know your chosen subject. Doctor Who, two minutes, starting now. Who plays the toll keeper at Tollport G715 in Delta and the Bannermen? Ken Dodd. Correct. Which Time Lord claimed to have helped the ancient Britons build Stonehenge with the aid of his anti-gravitational lift? Uh, the meddling monk. Yes, under what in-house BBC pseudonym did Douglas Adams and Graham Williams write City of Death? Um, pass. In The Keeper of Traken, with whom does the Master merge because he's unable to regenerate? Tremas. Yes. The third episode of The Myth Makers was broadcast as Death of a Spy, but what was the original name given to the episode by Donald Cotton? Pass. 
In Battlefield, Brigadier Lethbridge Stewart kills the destroyer by shooting it with what? Silver bullets. Yes. In The Five Doctors, which Greek letter gave safe passage across the deadly chessboard just inside the Tower of Rassilon? Pi. Yes. What is the rank of the Time Lord who is in charge of security for the capital on Gallifrey in The Deadly Assassin? Castellan. Yes. While on Tara searching for the fourth segment of the key to time, Romana is mistaken for which princess to whom Prince Reynard is betrothed? Princess Strella. Yes. What was Jacob Lindbergh's production credit for in The King's Demons? Pass. Which designer on the first Dalek serial was replaced by Raymond P. Cusick when he was unable to attend filming? Ridley Scott. Yes. In Kinder, what was the name of the box given to the survey team that cleared Hindle's mental instability? Box of Jana. Yes. In the Macra Terror, what does Jamie do to avoid suspicion when he stumbles into the practice for the Happy Colony finals? Pass. Which actor provided the voice of the robotic chameleon who travelled with the Doctor for a while? Gerald Flood. Yes. In Morgan Undead, what make of car owned by the Brigadier did Turlo steal and crash? Um, pass. Eleanor Braun and which actor made cameo appearances as art lovers at a Parisian gallery in City of Death? John Cleese. Yes. Broadcast on the 9th of October 1965, what was the last Doctor Who episode produced by Verity Lambert? Um, Dark Invasion of Earth. Mission to the Unknown. What was the name of the casing into which the Khaled mutants were placed, turning them into the Daleks in Genesis of the Daleks? Uh, Mark III Travel Machine. Mark III Travel Machine is right. And your time is up. You had five passes, Karen Davis. In Mordrian Undead, the car was a Humber. Dances a Highland Fling. That's what Jamie did to avoid suspicion. Jacob Lindbergh's credit was as a loot player. Is There a Doctor in the Horse was the name of that uh, third episode that I was after. And David Agnew was the uh, BBC pseudonym for Douglas Adams and Graham Williams. Five passes, Karen Davis, you have 12 points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is? Jed Sweeney. Your occupation? Technical service manager. And your subject is? Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Two minutes, starting now. In the first episode of The Robots of Death, Leela plays with what toy in the belief that if she stops, so will the TARDIS? A yo-yo. Yes. What process was used by Bernard Lodge in creating the opening titles used from 1973 to 1980? Split screen. No, slit scan. In which story does the sonic screwdriver first appear when the Doctor uses it to open an inspection plate on a pipeline? Fury from the Deep. Correct. Which part of the TARDIS is a neutral environment cut off from the rest of the universe? The Zero Room. Yes. In which story did John Scott Martin first play a Dalek, the first of many such appearances, leading to him being nicknamed Chief Dalek? Um, Doctor Who and the Daleks? No, The Chase. With whom does the fourth Doctor merge at the end of Logopolis as he regenerates into a younger form? The Watcher. Yes. In Galaxy 4, what name does Vicky give to the Rills robot drones? Chumblies. Yes. What was the surname of the unit corporal who appeared in both The Mind of Evil and The Claws of Axos? Corporal Bell. Yes. Who was originally cast as Captain Stryker in Enlightenment but had to drop out when a strike led to the recording being rescheduled? Peter Salis. Yes. Which British jazz musician appeared in the episode transmitted on the show's 25th anniversary? Courtney Pine. Yes. City of Death was adapted by Douglas Adams and Graham Williams from a David Fisher story with what title? Um... Gamblers of Time? A Gamble with Time. Yes. Which song accompanies the action through all four episodes of The Gunfighters? Last Chance Saloon, Ballad of Last Chance Saloon. Yes. What is the full name of the managing director of International Electromatics who helps the Cybermen in their attempted invasion of London? Tobias Vaughan. Correct. John Leeson not only made his debut as the voice of K-9 in The Invisible Enemy, but was also the voice of which space-borne intelligence? The Nucleus. Correct. In the invasion, when the first cyber transporter fleet is destroyed, what's the name of the bomb that the cyber planner announces will be delivered to Earth? Sorry, could you repeat the question, please? In the invasion, when the first cyber transporter fleet is destroyed, what is the name of the bomb that the cyber planner announces will be delivered to Earth? Megatron bomb? Yes. In the 1996 Doctor Who television movie I've started, so I shall finish, who does the master describe as the son I have always yearned for? Chang Lee. Chang Lee it is. No passes. Jed Sweeney, you have 14 points. <laughs> And our final contender, please. And your name is? Liam O'Carroll. Your occupation? Actor. 
and two minutes on Doctor Who. Starting now, in which story does the Doctor appear variously disguised as a German physician, a washerwoman and a redcoat soldier? The Highlanders. Correct. Which of the Doctor's companions was a computer programmer from Pea's Pottage in Sussex? Melanie Bush. Yes. What game set by the Celestial Toymaker does the Doctor complete by imitating the Toymaker's voice? A trilogic game. Yes. Which of the three Time Lord chapters is described as notoriously devious in The Deadly Assassin? Pridonians. Correct. When Fraser Hines fell ill with chickenpox, who replaced him as Jamie in episodes two and three of The Mind Robber? Hamish Wilson. Correct. In Dragonfire, what does Sabalon Glitz rename Ice World when he takes control of it? Nosferatu 2. Correct. When Tom Baker refused to appear in The Five Doctors, scenes from which story were used to ensure that the fourth Doctor was represented? Sharda. Correct. At the end of season 16, who did not renew her contract as Romana and was replaced by Lala Ward? Mary Tam. Correct. What were the last words uttered by the sixth Doctor in part 14 of The Trial of a Time Lord? Pass. When the Doctor travels back to the studio of Leonardo da Vinci, what does he write on the blank canvases on which the artist would paint his own copies of the Mona Lisa? This is a fake. Yes. On which planet does the Sisterhood guard the sacred flame from which the elixir of life is produced? Khan. Correct. The use of which weapon was banned by the Armageddon Convention? Uh, pass. Which voice actor has worked with seven Doctors from 1966 as a monoid through to 1988 as a Dalek? Roy Skelton. Yes, in The King's Demons, the Master assumed the guise of which knight and champion of King John? Sir Gilles Estrem. Yes, what was the full name of the innkeeper in The Smugglers? Pass. Which member of Unit is allowed to resign at the end of Invasion of the Dinosaurs for misguidedly sabotaging the Doctor's attempts to catch one of the creatures? Captain Mike Yates. Yes, in The Two Doctors, with what does Shock Eye attempt to pay for a meal for himself and the second Doctor? Uh, a Narg note. A 20 Narg note, yes. The first location shooting used in the programme was in The Reign of Terror using... Finish the question. Using which actor as a double for William Hartnell? Edmund Warwick. Brian Proudfoot. You had uh, three passes. Jacob Cooper was the full name of the innkeeper. Cyberbombs were banned by the Armageddon Convention. And the last words of the sixth Doctor were carrot juice, carrot juice, carrot juice. Three passes. Liam Carroll, you have 14 points. <laughs> so that's the end of the Doctor Who questions. What a tight round it was. Let's have a look at the scores. See whether they really knew their Davros from their Daleks and their Zanol from their Zygons. In fourth place, with 12 points, Karen Davis. Joint second place with 14 points, Jed Sweeney and Liam O'Carroll. In first place with 15 points, Paul Simpson. <laughs> so, round two now, general knowledge round. If there's a tie at the end of this round, there very well might be the way things are going, then the number of passes will be taken into account and the contender with the fewest passes will be declared the winner. So, let's get on with the general knowledge round and ask Karen Davis to join us again, if she would, please. Now, you are, if I may say so without causing offence, you are, <laughs> you're, a, you're a serious Doctor Who anorak, aren't you? I mean, you actually run conventions, don't you? Uh, I don't like the use of the A-word, John. No. Um. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you would. <laughs> what do you do at these conventions? Panic. I mean, apart from talking about <laughs> Doctor Who, that is. Um, it's, uh, it's, right. it's just nice. It's just nice to meet kind of friends that you haven't seen since the last one, face social atmosphere. You get to meet the actors, you get to meet behind the production, you know, production scene staff, and it's, it's just nice to get hands-on with Doctor Who. Right. 12 points with your knowledge of the Doctor. Let's see how you do with general knowledge. Two minutes again, starting now. Who, in November 2003, was unopposed when he succeeded Ian Duncan Smith as leader of the Conservative Party? Um, Michael Howard. Yes. Which village in Kent gave its name to a type of juvenile corrective institution for young offenders that was abolished in 1983? Borstal. Yes. Which dark brown ink obtained from the cuttlefish is generally used to make black pasta black? Sepia. Yes. Who entered the UK singles charts at number one in October 2004 with the song Radio? R Robbie Williams. Yes. In which city did the composers Mozart, Beethoven and Schubert all die? Um, Vienna? Yes. Which German novelist won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1929? Um, pass. In March 2002, Robert Thompson replaced Peter Stothard as the editor of which newspaper, becoming the first foreigner to hold the post? Uh, 
at the Times. Yes. Which French tyre company publishes red guides to top-ranked restaurants and hotels as well as green tourist guides and maps? Michelin. Yes. What is the common name for the bone known technically as the mandible? Jawbone. Yes. Which planet of the solar system has just two moons, Phobos and Deimos? Jupiter. Mars. Who was the first Mongol emperor of China and founder of its Yuan dynasty? Um, Kublai Khan. Yes. Which statesman who was Secretary of State to Elizabeth I from 1573 contrived an effective system of espionage that uncovered various conspiracies against the Queen? Pass. What is the meaning of the Russian word voda, of which vodka is a diminutive? Um, drink. Water. In ballet, how many basic positions of the feet are there? Four. Five. Out on the wily, windy moors we'd roll and fall in green is a line from which UK number one single of the 1970s? Wuthering Heights. Yes. In cookery, which French word is used for a young or spring chicken, usually served whole as an individual portion? Poussin. Yes. The regions of Darfur and Coravan are in which country? Pass. Which dramatist wrote the television series Lipstick on Your Collar dealing with love, sex and rock and roll in the 50s? Uh, Dennis Potter. Dennis Potter it was. You had three passes. Darfur and Cordovan are in Sudan. Sir Francis Walsingham was Elizabeth I's statesman we were after. And the German who won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1929 was Thomas Mann. Three passes. Karen Davis, you now have a total of 24 points. <laughs> And now, Liam O'Carroll, please. You're an actor yourself, of course. You played in Father Ted. That's right, yes. What about uh, the chance to appear in Doctor Who? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Any part you have in mind? Or I suppose it hasn't been invented yet. That's the thing with the, the series, isn't it? Well, a uh, nice big part would be great, but I've just... I'd be happy to just die horribly or something. Yeah. Right. All right. Well, that's, that's not a bad appeal, is it? Now, you, you lost your sight uh, a, a few years ago. You've been losing it gradually. Well, yes, I'm actually very annoyed about this. Um, <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to be able to see the new series, so I really don't see why anyone else should. So... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. know, it's a bit of a selfish attitude, I know, but... Um, <laughs> no, I'm just incredibly uh, envious of everybody you can see, be able to see it all, so... Very annoyed. Well, you got uh, 14 points, which was uh, a high score indeed, and you have to beat 24 points, so let's see how you do with your general knowledge. Two minutes on that. Starting now, which bitter, long-running British industrial dispute ended on the 4th of March, 1985? Minor strike. Yes. Which type of nail with a thick, strong head and short shank is typically used for horseshoes and heavy work boots? Awesome. Most email systems use POP3 to retrieve email from a server. For what does this acronym stand? Pass. Which type of footwear is thought to get its name from the resemblance of the side of its sole to the safety line around a ship? Plimsoll. Yes. What term is used for a provisional divorce which becomes absolute in due time unless cause is shown to the contrary? Pass. Which former Blue Peter presenter in July 2004 became the first non-military man or civil servant to be appointed Chief Scout? Peter Purvis. Peter Duncan. According to Western tradition, which of the three wise men brought the gift of gold to the infant Jesus? Balthazar. Melchior. Which Scottish band reached number 10 in the UK charts in 1999 with Why Does It Always Rain On Me? Travis. Yes. According to the historian Geoffrey of Monmouth, which ancient monument was built of stones from Mount Killerouse in Ireland on the advice of Merlin the Magician? Stonehenge. Yes. Which large variety of orange is named after an ancient port now in Israel? Alexandria. Jaffa. Spanish hero Rodrigo Diaz de Vivar is better known by what title, meaning Lord? Zorro. El Cid. Which map was first laid out in a school exercise book in 1931 by Henry C. Beck of North London, who received only a few guineas for his pains? Britain. The London Underground map. In the American Revolution, most of the fighting in which battle of June 1775 actually took place on the neighbouring Breed's Hill? Lewisburg. Bunker Hill. Which Shakespearean character is the subject of at least nine operas, including one by Verdi and one by Vaughan Williams, and a symphonic study by Elgar? Othello. Falstaff. Who directed the films Fame and Midnight Express? Alan Parker. Yes. Which chemical element symbol PB is short of? And it's the question for its Latin name, plumbum. 
lead. Yes, lead it was. You had three passes there. The uh, term used for a provisional divorce is decree nisi. That email pop three thing, post office protocol. And the type of nail we were after, heavy nail, is the hob nail. Three passes, Lim O'Carroll, you have 20 points. And now, Jed Sweeney, please. Well, the big appeal, what is it for you? The ability to have uh, an almost infinite variety of stories. You've got a time travel machine, and you can just take a story anywhere in the universe. So that's the appeal? Mm. Of course, oh. regeneration helps as well. It keeps it interesting. But you'll know all about that, won't you, Magnus? Uh, sorry, that's job. <laughs> <laughs> Touché. Right, uh, very close contest. 14 points you have at the moment, 24 points to beat, two minutes on general knowledge in which to do it. Starting now. Which golfer married his Swedish girlfriend, Elin Nordegren, in a lavish ceremony in Barbados in October 2004? Nick Faldo. Tiger Woods. In the Channel 4 comedy series, what was the name of Father Ted's housekeeper who was always asking him if he'd like a cup of tea? Mrs Doyle. Yes. Which bronze statue by Donatello was the first large-scale freestanding nude statue of the Renaissance? David? Yes. Svetlana Alulueva, who defected to the United States in March 67, was the daughter of which dictator? Joseph Stalin. Yes. What is the spirit base of a Tom Collins cocktail? Um, whiskey. Gin. Which part of the human eye controls the size of the pupil? The iris. Yes. In the works of Dickens, to what profession do Bradley Headstone, Mr Creakle and Mr M Chokumchild belong? Pass. Which American army officer commanded the forces that liberated Kuwait in the 91 Persian Gulf War? Colin Powell. Norman Schwarzkopf. In which film does Jack Nicholson play a writer endlessly typing all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy? The Shining. Yes. Who became the first woman presenter of ITN's News at 10 on 13th of February 1978? Anna Ford. Yes. Which scientist and mathematician was appointed Lucasian Professor of Mathematics at Cambridge University in 1669? Mm, Isaac Newton? Yes, King Pelles was the maternal grandfather of which Arthurian knight noted for his purity? Lancelot? Galahad. Which musical that opened in London in September 89 is loosely based on Puccini's opera Madame Butterfly? Um, I went to watch it. Um, pass. In which sport played with a long handled stick does the women's version have team positions of point, cover point, third man, and goalkeeper? Hockey. Lacrosse, what is the nationality of the European Commission President José Manuel Barroso? Portuguese. Yes, which member of the pig family, native to Africa, gets its name from the two pairs of lumps on the side of its face? Um, pass. The name for which hobby... So as I'll finish. The name for which hobby is said to have been invented in 1864 by Frenchman Georges Herpin from the Greek words for love, not and tax? Take a guess. Pass. It was philately, stamp collecting. You've got three other passes. That ugly uh, member of the pig family, Warthog, Miss Saigon. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Madam Butterfly was based on, loosely. And Mr Headstone, Mr Creakle and Mr Chokum Child were all schoolmasters. Four passes. Jed Sweeney, you have 22 points. <laughs> And now, finally, Paul Simpson, please. What about your favourite Doctor Who? Probably Pat Troughton. Ah. Um, he was a character actor who wasn't the Doctor in the way that somebody like Tom Baker is. You meet Tom Baker, he is a much larger-than-life character, whereas Peter Davison and Pat Troughton are far more character actors in that sense. And what does uh, Christopher Eccleston have to do to impress you? Carry on with what I'm hearing so far, I think. It's, uh, it sounds like the show's being taken seriously. It's being written by people who know the show, know both what's made it work in the past, but also know how television works in the 21st century, which is a majorly different from how it was when the show went off air in 89. Well, let's hope you do like it. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> 
15 points, and you have 24 points to beat. Nobody's succeeded so far in the last two contenders. Let's see if you can do it with your general knowledge, starting now. Which England footballer was transferred from Liverpool to Real Madrid on the eve of the 2004-05 season? Michael Owen. Yes, the name of which country means the saviour in Spanish? San Salvador. No, El Salvador. Which motor company was founded in Tamworth in 1935, initially taking over production of the Rally Cycle Company's three-wheeler van? Austin. Reliant. In which city was the opera house La Fenice, meaning the Phoenix, destroyed by fire in 96? Berlin. Venice. What name is given to the involuntary spasm of the respiratory organs ending in the sudden closure of the glottis, producing a characteristic sound? Pass. Whose first cabinet post was Secretary of State for Education and Employment, which he held from 1997 to 2001? Pass. How are the common wild plants Taraxacum officinale and Arctium minus, whose extracts provide the flavouring of a popular soft drink, better known? Dandelion and Burdock. Yes. Which novel has the opening line, Call me Ishmael? Moby Dick. Yes. Which word, meaning the image of a saint or other religious figure, and now also used in computing, is derived from the Greek for likeness? Icon. Yes. Who plays the title role in the 2004 remake of Alfie, set in Manhattan? Jude Law. Yes. Which is the only continent to have both the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn running through it? South America. Africa. What name is given to the place where, according to traditional Roman Catholic teaching, souls expiate their pardonable sins? Purgatory. Yes. Who wrote the book Schindler's Ark, on which Steven Spielberg's film Schindler's List is based? Thomas Kennelly. Correct. Which rock band consists of Frankie Poulain, Ed Graham and brothers Justin and Dan Hawkins? Busted. No. The Darkness. What was the name of the Emperor Caligula's favourite horse, which he said to have made a consul and a priest? Pass. I can tell you it was incitatus. You had three passes. David Blunkett was the politician oh, uh, we were after, and that sound, you'll kick yourself, is a hiccup. As simple You're as right. that. Three passes, 22 points. So, at the end of a very close context, let's have a look at the scores. In fourth place, with 20 points, Liam O'Carroll. Joint second place, with 22 points, Paul Simpson and Jed Sweeney. Held on to that lead with 24 points, though, Karen Davis in first place. only one person we can ask to present the award. Guess who? Christopher Eccleston. Welcome. <laughs> or should I say Doctor Who? Yep. Come for now. Come for now. Well done on being it. Thanks, John. Thanks very much. What's it like? What's this? I mean, apart from brilliant, obviously, <laughs> what was it like being Doctor Who? It was, uh, it was, a, fun, it was a great challenge. I mean, the most important thing about Doctor Who, as some of the contestants said tonight, is the quality of the scripts yeah. and the originality of the stories. And, and we had that with Russell T. Davis as our key writer. And it was, um, it was, uh, it was an amazing eight months. It really takes over your life. It's a six-day okay. week, 14-hour day. And will continue to do. Yeah, we'll see. And there's a lot riding on you because they were saying tonight, as you've heard, you've got to take it seriously. Mm, oh, I did. So you are a serious Doctor Who. At times, yes. Right. Well, we uh, have got <laughs> this big like that idea. <laughs> the serious business saving the world. Yeah, well, that's very once true. a week. That's true. If you've got to save the world every week, week that's John. your. Yeah. yeah. Well, you've been Jesus sort of already, haven't you? You've been the Son of yeah, God yeah. in another incarnation. Nothing wrong with my so ego. Nothing wrong with your. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's somebody else whose ego has been given a little boost tonight. Karen, come and receive your award. <laughs> well done. Fantastic. Thank you. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations to Karen, who has become the world's first ever Doctor Who Mastermind champion. Don't forget about our regular Mastermind. See you again soon. Thanks for watching. Good night.
There are a couple of classic Doctor Who episodes available now on BBC iPlayer, including the one where the TARDIS lands in a very strange hotel. And we'll keep the Doctor Who theme going next here on BBC Two with a Weakest Link special.